Virginia Tech going for its seventh straight win, facing Duke, looking for its biggest road win in decades. Now this one, it wasn't always pretty. An example of some sloppy first half play, Anthony Boone looking down the sideline, overthrows Kendall Fuller there for the INT. In fact, the freshman had two interceptions in the first half. Second quarter, Virginia Tech trailing 3-0. Logan Thomas looks into the end zone, intercepted, great play by Ross Cockrell, though he would get hurt, and he was only able to play one snap in the second half. Duke's ensuing drive all the way down to the Virginia Tech 12. Boone's pass, tip, 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 boom. Intercepted by Daddy Nicholas. Boone's third interception of the first half, although just before the break, Ross Martin would kick a 53-yarder for the Blue Devils. 6-0 Duke leading at the half. Second half, Duke's opening drive, first and goal. Anthony Boone decides the safest thing, keep it himself, nine yards for the touchdown. Oh, the Blue Devils building a 13-0 lead. The Hokies pinned at their own one. Logan Thomas wants a big chunk of yards. Going deep for Dimitri Knowles. Oh, he hauls it in. Watch again, Knowles almost drops it, hauls it back in, 56 yards. Later in the drive, Logan Thomas goes himself. Five-yard touchdown run. He had 101 yards rushing. The rest of the team just 72 in the game. Fourth quarter, Duke with eight and a half minutes to go. It's Boone again, intercepted and again by Fuller, the freshman with three picks in the game. So the Hokies in great position. A touchdown would take the lead. At least a field goal would tie this on Virginia Tech's ensuing drive. Cody Jernell, 40 yards for the tie, and he misses his second miss of the day. And David Cutcliffe's Blue Devils keep the lead. After a Duke three and out, the Hokies get the ball back. Thomas. Over the middle, another tip pass, another interception. Kelby Brown there. Thomas, four interceptions in the game. Duke with the football. Can the Blue Devils run out the clock? Fourth and one. Does Cutcliffe decide to punt? No, he's going for it. Brandon Connett, the Phantom, shakes off one tackle, spins off another. First down, Blue Devils. And Duke can run out the clock. Congratulations on the Duke sidelines. The Blue Devils win it 13 to 10. It's their first road win over a ranked team since 1971. It's the first win ever at Lane Stadium for the Duke Blue Devils. It's their first win over Virginia Tech since 1981. The Blue Devils are now 6-2, and two, and they can go to back-to-back -to -back bowls for the first time ever.